uh, what you're going to need to do is enter uh, all this data in your um, into the data matrix editor. So I can access that by hitting this app button. I can go to the data matrix editor, select current. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use F1 and 8 to clear everything that's already there, and then I'll just start entering. So I have numbers from 2 to 11, so I'm going to go ahead and enter those first. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the next cell over and start entering the corresponding outputs. Be careful, um, make sure that everything that you enter is exactly what you have. The most common mistake made on things like this is to uh, enter a number, a digit incorrectly when you're uh, entering the data. So be careful on the data entry. All right. Once I enter all the data, uh, what you're basically doing to find the uh, correlation coefficient is you need to solve for the linear regression. You need to run the linear regression on here. So if you go to the F5 calculate tab, you need to change the calculation type to number five, linear regression. And then you need to assign your X and Y uh, columns. So my X's are located in column one. So again, it's already alpha lock. So if I hit the C button, I deselect and hit the number one go to the next cell or field, hit alpha C, and then number two. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and store this in my regression equation just because I'm in the habit of doing that. And when I hit enter, the answer that I see here, my CORR, this is the correlation coefficient. So the number would be, and here's the one thing, and it may, might be hard for you guys to see from that distance, but uh, be careful of these little negative signs. Okay? So here I get negative 0.9713. And it's uh, 97138, so I'll go 9714. It only asks for three decimals, so I can stop it at the one. And so this would be my correlation coefficient here.